Good morning and welcome everyone. I am Shomudi Plaha, Technical Officer 1 at University Science Instrumentation Center, University of North Bengal. I shall talk about one unit that is unit 1 of your course, Fundamental Information Technology, which deals with introduction to computer. I am going to cover this unit 1 in 4 video lecture classes. Today, I shall begin by focusing on what is a computer and what are the different characteristics and basic functioning of computer are. Let's begin today's class. Talking about a computer, whenever we see a computer, the first question should come in our mind. What is a computer and what is its full form? Computer stands for Common Operating Machine purposely used for technological educational research. The last three letter is very important because computer were primarily invented for educational research purpose and scientific calculations. The word computer comes from another word compute which means to calculate. Computer were invented, computer was invented in the early 19th century by Charles Babbage and he is considered as the father of the computer. Initially, computers were massive and expensive machines that were primarily utilized for scientific calculations. You can see in the picture how big it was initially when it was invented. And near about a complete uh, large room was required to establish a computer system. But nowadays computer applications are very diverse ranging from work and education to entertainment and communication like I am giving uh, the video lecture with the help of nothing but a computer. To define a computer, we can say a computer is an electronic device capable of accepting, processing, storing and retrieving data. It is a device that is capable of quickly and precisely carrying out logical operation and complex calculations. It behaves as a data processor because it can store process and retrieve data whenever we need it. Coming to the basic functioning of a computer, it consists of four stages. First, we need to put input to the computer system. Then the given input is processed by the computer and we are getting output from the process input. And the output we are getting from computer can be stored in memory devices. So, these four steps consist the basic functioning of computer. A computer consists of hardware and software components. The hardware includes physical components such as keyboard, mouse, monitor and CPU. These four are essential components of a computer system to run a computer. And inside CPU, the storage devices are placed. And there are software components. Software includes the program that enable the computer to perform various tasks. Like I am giving uh, the presentation with the help of Microsoft Office PowerPoint which is nothing but a software. Computers can perform variety of functions such as word processing, data analysis, graphic designing, gaming and video editing and what not. A program or set of instructions control how a computer functions. A compiler or interpreter converts these instructions from a programming language into machine language. Computers can be classified into different types based on their size, processing power, usage and these include uh, desktops, laptops, tablet, servers, mainframe computers and supercomputers. Let's talk about some characteristics of a computer. There are various characteristics of a computer system depending on their size, capacity and specifications. But the major characteristics of the computer can be classified into speed 
accuracy, diligence, versatility, reliability, consistency, memory, storage capacity, remembrance power, and automation. I am coming one by one on the following. So, speed is one of the major characteristic of of the computer system. A computer works so fast that it can process any task and provide the output in fraction of second, nearly uh, microsecond and nanosecond. A powerful computer can handle trillions of instructions per second and this is quite remarkable compared to normal human work. Right. And the speed of the computer depends on the what processor we are using. Processing power of a computer are measured in terms of its clock speed and processing cores. The clock speed refers to the number of cycles per second that a processor can execute, while the processing cores refer to the number of independent processing units on a single processor. So, higher the uh, processor we are getting, we are getting much higher version of computer and it is much speedy compared to the previous version. Next is accuracy of computer. Computers not only provide incredible speed, but they are also capable of consistently working with accuracy. The degree of accuracy of computers uh, for calculations is almost 100% accuracy. Accurate. Uh, errors may occur in computer system but only because of wrong hum human input or inaccurate data. Next, uh, incredible feature of computer is diligence, diligence of computer. You can see a computer can work continuously without getting tired for extended periods without experiencing any fatigue or loss of concentration. Unlike us, computers do not need breaks or sleep. This means they can perform tasks such as calculations with a high level of accuracy and concentration without any errors. Next feature is versatility of a computer. This is another wonderful feature and they can perform a variety of tasks simultaneously with the same efficiency and accuracy. They are not just calculating machines anymore like when they are in, when computers were invented. They can be used for tasks such as inventory management or multimedia tasks, network surfing and many more. Next is reliability of a computer. The results produced by the computer are highly reliable provided the data or program being used is correct and reliable. Next is consistency of a computer. Computer can perform trillion of process without errors for hours. They can be used continuously for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year like server or supercomputers providing consistent results for the same set of data. Means if we provide the same instruction, we are getting same data every time. Okay, not different uh, output they are generating in different times. Next is memory of computer. Computers have inbuilt memory that can store data instantaneously. This includes random access memory. You can see here random access memory and here the RAM is placed uh, on the motherboard and which uh, it holds data as long as the computer is connected to the power source means RAM is a volatile memory and also computers include read only memory catch a memory of different levels, virtual memory, etc., uh, which all speed up the performance of computer. Additionally, computer has hard drive inside CPU to store the output, da output data if we want to store them 
and these memories are secondary memories whereas ram and rom are primary memory of computer and they are much faster than the secondary devices like hard drive the storage capacity of computer these are the different uh, drives hard drives of computer like pen drive external hard drive cd uh, this is card reader this is memory card and storage capacity of computer uh, have increased magnificently compared to the uh, earlier days uh, now we are dealing with um, uh, terabytes um, uh, in my student life we are getting a maximum of 160 gb of hard drive and 1 gb of ram nowadays near about 1 tb of hard drive and 4 gb of ram are very common next is remembrance power of computer computers have the powers to store any data or information for as long as we want data can also be recalled easily when needed and we have the option to decide how much data we want to store and when we want to erase it next is automation in computer computer can also be programmed to automate routine tasks with the help of task scheduler this includes launching specific applications or software sending emails scanning for viruses and other maintenance tasks computers can perform complex tasks also such as software updates security scanning and system diagnostics automatically automation in computer is a domain which is uh, continu continuously evolved and it is uh, developed day by day and we are getting much more advanced computer in near future okay so this is all about today's session and we discussed about the definition and the definition of computer and the basic functioning and different characteristics of computer in the next class i will discuss about the history and evolution of computer also the block diagram and different types of computer i hope you find this video lecture useful and informative see you in the next class thank you